Abbey County right now, tracking uh, compared to last week a relatively mild morning. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it is glorious out there, and we're getting so many cool sunrise photos too. So definitely make sure you continue to send those in to us as well. We're tracking a gorgeous view along Woodland Park. Take a look. This is from one of our uh, neighborhood weather network cameras at Gold Hill. Temperatures sitting in the upper 20s. This is from our peak internet camera. Right now, temperatures in the 20s and the 30s, and tracking the teens and the 20s out toward the eastern plains. As for how we stack up compared to the rest of the country. Oh boy, the 20s, name of the game, up and down the East Coast, and some 30s in action out toward the West Coast. So definitely we're more on par with the rest of the country this morning. Right now, wind speeds under 10 miles an hour, and that's actually where they'll stay throughout your Wednesday. That's some good news. As a result, wind chill pretty minimal, although making it feel like the 20s for both Colorado Springs and Pueblo. Not a lot of activity to report to you on your live HD Doppler radar, and on your Skycast, not much either. Some clouds this morning, but those will dissipate later on this afternoon, just paving the way for mostly sunny skies, dry conditions as well. Highs today ranging in the 40s and the 50s, with the 40s out to the eastern plains, 30s and the 40s in uh, the mountain locations. As we zoom in just a bit closer, you can tell. Um, we're taking a look at Canyon City all the way through Pueblo West. Temperatures ranging in the lower 50s with the upper 30s for Westcliff. Highs today throughout Colorado Springs are looking good in the 50s. We drop to the upper 40s as you head out east toward Falcon, Peyton, Ellicott as well. 40 degrees, the daytime high in Woodland Park, so just looking good throughout the area. As for that seven day forecast, well, we're tracking partly sunny skies all the way through Saturday. We add in that rain or snow mixture on Sunday with daytime temperatures dropping to the upper 30s. Overnight temperatures in the teens and the 20s. In Pueblo, 52 today's high. 40s the next couple of days, dropping to to the lower 40s on Sunday with that rain or snow mix possible as well. For Canyon City, 51 today's high, upper 40s tomorrow, and then dropping to the uh, upper 30s on Sunday. So definitely will feel much cooler for the end of your weekend and start of your work week. Overnight temperatures as well, also, <laughs> I should say, in the teens and 20s. Finally, for Teller County, 40 degrees today, and then tracking the 40s the rest of the way on out. But dropping to the 20s and 30s for the end of your weekend, start of your work week. Of course, we're looking at the extended forecast models. I looked at several today, and the possibility for uh, some snow on Tuesday and Wednesday, potentially creating some hazardous traveling conditions for Thanksgiving. But actual Turkey Day looking pretty good and clear, and then the next possibility after that on Sunday. Also, just to mention, these things can change in the day's time, so we'll continue to monitor it very closely. All right, thanks, Abby. Yeah. Now we're going to check in with Mike Lewis at KRDO News Radio for Time Saver Traffic.